on June 25, 1876, General George Armstrong Custer split the 7th Cavalry Regiment into three battalions in preparation to attack the Indian village on the Little Bighorn River. The battle was fought in three separate locations. The Valley Fight, Custer's Last Stand, and the Hilltop Fight. Many people claim to have survived the last stand. The overwhelming majority of them are easily dismissed. Author Brian Dippy was able to give a great overview of the many survivor claims in his book, Custer's Last Stand, The Anatomy of an American Myth. The historian E.A. Brennan's duel was said to have collected over 70 of these claims. Libby Custer, the wife of General Custer, received dozens of letters from men saying they had survived. And Michael Nunnally, another noted Custer historian, collected about 70 stories in his self-published book, I Survived Custer's Last Stand. In my personal research, I've been able to identify at least 95 unique claims. One of them was Michael J. Clancy. Mr. Clancy's story is that there was a detachment of soldiers sent in advance by Custer hours ahead of time to cut off any possibility of an Indian escape from the north end of the village. The problem with this story is that there were no other detachments sent to cut off fleeing villagers. Reno was in one detachment sent to the south end of the village, which is geographically higher than the north end. It may initially cause confusion for some students of history when they think of the upper village as being in the south. Maybe Clancy's story was confused in the telling. None of the officers ordered their commands to split up in a reinforcement move to the north. One version of the story goes like this. He liked to recall his fighting days. He was a member of the detachment ordered to cut off the Indians' escape from the rear. When the detachment arrived at the Little Bighorn a few hours after the engagement, General Custer and his band were dead. This claim also suggests that sometime around 5 to 6 p.m. on the day that Custer was defeated, his detachment happened on the scene of the massacre. But considering the furious fighting on Reno Hill until about 9 p.m., it's extremely unlikely, if not tactically impossible, that a small unit of troopers casually pass through any portion of the hill surrounding the Little Bighorn. There is no possible way he was present at the scene of the last stand, whether it was that day or the day after. Other than General Custer and the soldiers under his direct command, Lieutenant Weir and Major Reno led the only other soldiers to advance north of the reno benteen defenses. They made it only halfway between Reno Hill and Custer Hill before they were turned back by overwhelming violent force. Thirdly, if Michael J. Clancy was in the 7th Cavalry, his name should appear on the battle rosters during that time. Clancy's name is not there. Now these observations may not prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Michael J. Clancy was not at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Based on the descriptions of his actions, his claims are pure fantasy. <laughs>